As high winds and wildfires tear across California, millions of residents are in the dark, left without power to traffic lights, homes, schools and businesses. People not used to without the power here. Generators sold out long ago. In this darkened hardware store, the owner is guiding customers by flashlight to buy flashlights. Unfortunately, we've run out of some of those products that they need. More than 800,000 customers had their power turned off in a preemptive move by Pacific Gas and Electric, the largest utility provider in California. The company feared downed power lines could start fires in the tinder dry conditions. We took this step to ensure the safety of our customers and our communities as a last resort. And we're committed to reducing the risk of catastrophic wildfire events. Eyes on the vegetation fire underneath the transmission line. There's good reason for caution. Last year, the company's equipment was blamed for starting the deadly fire in the town of Paradise. 85 people were killed. 13,000 homes burned to the ground. If the choices are to shut them down or to potentially start a fire, I would rather they shut them down. But not everyone feels that way, blaming the utility company for failing to maintain its equipment. Do your job. Protect the public. The decision to preemptively cut power isn't just inconvenient. You just turn it on. Those who rely on certain medical devices say it puts their lives at risk. What are you going to do with people like myself? Because I know I'm not the only one. The utility has warned this unprecedented action could last for days. Lines and equipment will need to be inspected before they can be re-energized, even after the risk of wildfire subsides. Jackson Prosco, Global News.